Okay, here we are, day three of the 13 days of Christmas. During my research, I found this movie a lot. When I asked people for ideas, this one came up again. Now, it's day three, it makes sense, because there are three rules when it comes to the world of gremlins. Essentially, you know, you've got a mugwai. That's what the, the, uh, this, the, the race is called, the species. And you can't get it wet. cannot feed it after midnight. You never let it see sunlight. This would be an awesome pet to own, because, you know, it's an adorable thing. However, if you can't get it wet, what happens if it gets dirty? I mean, that, that, that alone is a huge restriction. It can't see sunlight, okay? So you have to, like, keep it indoors. It's like a mini vampire pet. You can't feed after midnight. Well, that's cool. You should be asleep at the time. And then don't leave food out available for it. So, of course, you know what has to happen. It has to get wet. The little gizmo, she's always little, like, essentially he grows little balls on him that explode off of him and become full-size other mugwai. That's, of course, when you have... You see a bunch of them, and they're all different personalities, and you see Stripe. Obviously a much more aggressive one, who, you know, whoops on Gizmo a lot. A clock gets, you know, kind of, kind of messed with. Of course, then they get fed fried chicken after midnight. And that's when the real fun begins. The gremlins, that's when they go from Mugwai to gremlins. And essentially... They are little killing machines. I never would have classified this movie as horror until I started looking at it and I was like, you know, that's right. Man, these things tear apart everything. They kill people. Like, they kill a lot of people. And this is violent and gory. The scenes alone, where it's like, alright, Mugwai, it's like, you know, Gremlin, Blender, go. Gremlin, Microwave, explode, go. Just over the top. You know, and this is this is a great movie because it takes place during Christmas, which again, this is the thirteen horror movies that are you know loosely based on Christmas. And you know, when this came out, <clears throat> this is one of those great like let me double check this because you know, like I said, I don't do any sort of this is one of those really great like Phoebe Cates movies. For those of you who really have no idea exactly who, you know, she was at the point in time. You know, she was like the it girl around this time when it came for movies. You know, bar none. This is a absolute classic movie. It is over the top. It is violent. People die left and right. Good characterization. Did they kind of ruin it with the sequel? Yeah, the sequel's more tongue-in-cheek, but this one, you know, violent. Great special effects for a movie that currently is 25 years old. You know, great feeling. You've got comedy, horror, good acting, drama, great special effects. This is all around a phenomenal movie even 25 years later. So, day three, 13 days of horror, associated with Christmas, Gremlins. I highly recommend going out and renting this. Or, actually, you could probably buy it on DVD for the same price you would cost in renting it. So that's Gremlins. Coming up next, you know, on the previous two that I've done, everyone has thrown out Black Christmas. So I'm going to do the remake of Black Christmas next. And then I'll get to uh, a couple other more obscure ones, and then I'll get to the 1974 version. So, here are day three, Gremlins, up next... Black Christmas, 2006 remake, I think. It was, it was pretty recent. We'll just say the remake. I won't give the year. 